Good morning, guys. And thank you for getting me into 200 to 2,000 subscribers. Um, I've pretty much enjoyed the YouTube stuff. It's been a lot of work. I've learned a lot about video. And along the way, I've really, really enjoyed your comments where I learned something new. Otherwise, yeah, the... Um, uh, the other aspects to YouTube where <laughs> I get strange messages and people ask me for help. Um, well, I do want to help you guys, but at the same time, I kind of want to teach you how to fish instead of like giving you the fish. And um, so, so that means not. I, I don't want to go, you know, hand holding and things like this. You've got to just. I, I want to like teach you the over I just want to like give you some insight to the overall concepts anyway topic for today is power management so remember the good old days when you had Windows or Mac OS and power management sort of worked on your machine your battery used to last and you probably as I do experience on your laptop very poor uh, battery performance you well, you're supposed to do everything yourself in Linux as usual. I'm not too sure why. I mean, for some reason, the defaults usually aren't very power efficient, and you need to tweak them. There's a the main tool to do this is is called PowerTop. The short version is just use PowerTop AutoTune, but I'm going to give you also the long version, and um, and then the idea is that you you take your laptop and you tune it so for battery performance. Ordinarily, I actually, I don't really even bother because most of the time I prefer to work quite wired. I, you know, I have to have my ethernet cable, I have to have my power, and, and that's the way I prefer to work. I, I, I very rarely is this laptop in my lap, in the lounge. It's, it's very rare that I'm doing that because you know can't really I don't know about you I can't I can't work like 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 this I can't work like this I need a I need a desk I need I need a, no little distractions and then we get to work anyway quickly 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 okay let's so on my on my test laptop here let me just install SSH and stuff do 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 okay up with this so open SSH so I can connect to this machine show you stuff and then I need to enable it start and then I need to I don't know, put my public SSH key into authorized authorized keys with any luck why is the internet so slow non-stop fun and games with the old internet non-stop remote host identification has changed yeah whatever Okay, okay. So this is a laptop. This is the X1 Carbon C3, and okay. Let me install PowerTop. The fast version is just run PowerTop AutoTune, but the slow version is to run PowerTop. <laughs> um, okay, so it's not very easy to use. You press Tab. I discovered. And you see this tunables. It says these things are bad. So one caveat I believe with PowerTop is that is that one reason why they make you do it so manually is that is that if they did everything too aggressively, something on your machine might just stop working. So then you have to do everything yourself as usual because no one's going to help you except yourself when you run Linux. I'm afraid to say, but in my experience, when I when I tune everything as PowerTop has asked me to, I have no issues. But at the same time, I've also not bothered and <laughs> to tune my machine, and I got away with it pretty well. So you can see these things are all bad. 
Um, so what I, the short version is to put PowerTop Autotune into your into your system D on startup. The long version is to use something like PowerTop minus R, PowerTop HTML. So with minus R, it it logs all that information that you just saw on the screen into the HTML. Then I pass the HTML. Oh, well, I extract the the tunables from the HTML. And then I put it into this etc temp files are deep for the majority of it. The other stuff goes into as you dev rules. And I'm just going to quickly do this for you so that you know my methodology. Um, B. What did I do again? Let's see. P power top. HTML. Put it here. Put it here. Actually, I I, ha I have a, a website about how I do everything. Um, it's called thebase.com. So if I go power top site. Yeah, that's the one. So I launch it and then I go do this tricky dicky stuff. Tricky dicky. See, these are the tunables right there, guys. Oh, right there. That's what I need to get out. Fortunately, they've made it really, really hard to do that. Um, mm. So yeah, I need to put my own styling. I'm going to style you, baby. And the style is to simply, I think, just remove the first column using this ancient trick. Of CSS, so now I just copy the stuff here. Copying and pasting from a web page, hmm, that's not easy, is it? Now, <laughs> so tunables, and then what do I do next? Then I read my web page because I can never remember the stuff. I wrote a script, yeah, rewrite some little, sh little shell scripting going on here, guys. How does it work again? Bash rewrite, yeah, 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 that's right. So this is the syntax required uh, for the, what's it called? Temp files D. Uh, what does mine look like? So basically I copy this into the temp files of D. Then, and temp files D, as I understand it, Okay, I'll just show you on my system. Let's cut to the chase here. Um, Tenfold's idea, as I understand it, is System D's mechanism to set up some file devices. Back in the old days, everything used to be a file, and that was a glorious time. And you might be wondering what all these dashes are. I think they're different, like, you know, permission modes and things like this. But all this is doing is writing these, that, like, one into this file. And that's... And that's really, really good, actually. That's a really good way to deal with hardware. I'm, I'm a huge fan of everything being a file. Um, go go off and look at Plan 9, uh, by all means. So, yeah, you, you, you copy and paste those, that, the output from, from um, that script here. I think there's also maybe a UDEV rule you want to copy in. Hmm. Kind of looks like this. And then your system is tuned manually. I guess the big the problem for me with about um, using PowerTop Auto Tune in your System D startup is that I feel it does. Um, I feel it like maybe like if say you're on battery. I feel like if you're just booting a machine, it might, might waste battery. It's a silly reason. Ignore that reason. But anyway, if you know if you know better how to tune or get a long battery life out of your machine, I'm sort of not interested, but at the same time, sort of interested. I don't use um. You may have noticed I, I use ThinkPads and such, but I'm actually um. I don't use any of the the weird ThinkPad uh, libraries and stuff like that. I'm just haven't seen the need, and most of the code there looks a bit archaic to me. Um. Yeah, power saving. Um, isn't it a fantastic topic? 
anyway, thanks again, guys, for getting me over to 2,000 subscribers. And I'm looking forward to your comments, correcting me, and telling me how I don't know anything about this stuff. <laughs> Cheers, guys. Bye now.